I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to sketch top front and side views of a cube structure. So we have a model here. Look into this model and try to sketch the views. Top view is when you look from the top, right? So what do you see? You see a rectangular block where you have six of these squares. That is the top view. The front view is when you look from the side, right? So you see a step of two each blocks going and then there is a step. From the sides you see L shape, L which is kind of in the reverse direction. So these are the views which you see. As you can notice here the side views from left and right are exactly same. So when you draw you have to draw them exactly same. So looking into this picture now Pause the video, sketch the top, front and side views and check your answer with that of mine. Remember also to show the change in depth with a bold line. Correct? So that is kind of important. So let's begin by sketching the top view first. So when we look from the top, we see these six squares, right? Imagine that they're all cubes, correct? So from the top, let me draw like this. So we have six squares. So let's say, so if you have a graph paper, you can do a good job. I'm just making rough diagrams here. They will help you to understand how to sketch, right? So that is my top view. So I see these six blocks from the top. What I also notice is that at this stage there is change in depth right so this change in depth should be shown by a bold line so that is my bold line which indicates the change in depth right so so that is how we can draw the the top view right so this is the top view now let us make the front view of the same so from the front that is the side which we are looking at so what do you see? You see three layers of these blocks. So from the front, you see these three layers of two each. So let me sketch it kind of similar to what you saw from the front. I mean from the top. It looks kind of similar. Here it is. But there is one huge difference. And that is, at the first level, you see change in height, right? So at the front... From the front view, at the first level, you change in height. So this change in depth, I should say, change in depth, that's the depth, should be reflected by a bold line. So that bold line reflects the change in depth for us. I hope this is very clear. So that is my front view. Now, how does it look like from the right side? From the right side, when you're looking, it is this direction, right? So that is the right side. It is L-shaped, L which is reflected on a mirror. Or you can say the reverse L, right? So, so if you want to sketch this, you could sketch L-shaped thing like this, right? So this is, this is how you could sketch. So this is one, two, and third one. So there are three at the bottom. And then we have three one over the other right so so that is how you kind of see it so I'm just sketching it and I hope it makes some sense to you that is how it is right so so that is the L shape which we are talking about now when you see do you see any change in depth well here the depth is the same depth is same so there is no change in depth here right now that is the right view for you so we'll call this as the right view if you look from the left side, how does it look like? From the left side also, it is exactly the same as it looks from the right side. So this is your left side. So you can draw here from the left side also. That is also L shape. So let me just draw one L shape thing here. Okay, so that is how it is. Okay, so do all this on a graph paper. You'll get excellent results right this one is not all that good but you know i hope it makes sense to you the idea is to understand how to draw these views so that is from the left side so in general if you have to show the top front and side views of a cubic structure one we have seen here 
important thing is also to indicate change in depth and that change in depth is indicated by a bold line correct so I hope it is absolutely clear to you now as an exercise what we will do will make a small change in this block let me remove one from here so if I remove one okay in that case you need to answer how is my top front right and left view going to change second which view really doesn't change right so can you answer that so look into these questions the next video will provide you with all these answers right let me give you a hint here so you can pause the video answer this question and the hint is if you see from the left it is still the same do you see that so it does not change however from the right it changes since I have removed one block so when you look at it you do see the same thing but then you see the change in depth right so that is the change in depth so in that case this becomes bolder do you see that this becomes bolder for you from the right from the top you know you have to remove this block correct so that has to be removed that is a big chain right and from the front what really happens actually in the previous one also I should have drawn this line right so this line shows all those six things right but from the front what really happens here is that now you can see the change in height right or I should say depth so if you move from here there is a change in depth correct so 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 that is at two levels now so first level and then second level so it is going to change so that is what it is so what we have here is that kind of structure do you see that change here so that is how it is going to get reflected when you are going to see from the front side however the left side is going to remain the same I hope that answers the question also so likewise what you can do is you can make some more changes and see how to draw the different views of a block cubicle block structure thank you and all the best